It was your home since childhood. But you think it's been violated forever? Yes. Can you see yourself ever living there again? No. I understand that. Remember what I said to you at the beginning, Molly? You weren't just a witness to a violent assault. You were a victim as much as your father was. Now, I'm going to suggest something to you. You don't have to answer me. This one was now, after a year. It might help if you were to go back to the house. I could go with you if you like. No. No. No, sorry. All right. Anyway, it's just been sold, so time to move on. Sure. You'll still be staying with Frank and Jess. They've been fantastic, but I can't expect them to put up with me indefinitely. <laughs> I think they love having you around. And if it offers a safe haven for now. I want a home of my own. I started looking. Right. Outside Dublin. I like the idea. It's much cheaper. <laughs> More peaceful. Nightmare. Your dad? My poor baby. Do you want to cancel this thing? I'm fine. I wouldn't worry about offending an estate agent. No, really. Remind me again why you want to get out of Dublin. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, that's what most people are paying for. Tranquility. And the space outside, as well as the space inside. Oh, and light. I mean, the house is full of natural light. The French doors, south facing. And uh, the patio is perfect for sunning yourself all afternoon. Um, kitchen, oak shaker, uh, electric hob, oven, fridge, freezer, granite worktops, all is standard. Utility room. Upstairs. Hmm. There's a feature most people like is the, the high ceilings. And I think you'd be pleasantly surprised by the roominess of the bedrooms. Now, family bathroom. And into the master bedroom.
Molly, Molly, I think our friend might feel he's wasting his sweetness. Sorry. As you can see, a lovely view of Mount Leinster. Ah, that'll be my 12 o'clock, so what do you think? Um, it's lovely. I'll certainly think seriously about it. Well, as I said, this is the last one, so I wouldn't think too long if I were you. Any last questions? Um, the fitted kitchen. Did you say that was extra? No, 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 that's standard. Or you can choose your own and we allow 5,000. Oh, we can also install a superb alarm system for an extra grand. No thanks, no alarms. Uh, fully guaranteed for five years, including maintenance? No. What? Are you expecting a crime wave in the village? <laughs> Hardly. Because people like their peace of mind. Uh, anyway, there you have it. As I said, it's the last one. Just imagine what this will cost you up in Dublin. You know? Anyway, I'd better go. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Bye-bye. And on to his new best friend. I hope you've got the message, Molly. You need him more than he needs you. Arrogant little twerp. I think he was expecting you to whip out the checkbook there and then. That's the way it is, I suppose. I mean, if you don't mind living in the back of beyond, the house itself isn't bad. It seemed very peaceful. And people really commute to Dublin from there. Didn't you notice not a soul to be seen? <laughs> what sort of life is that? I won't have to commute. I can work from home, pop down to the village for whatever I need. What? Baked croissants at the boulangerie? <laughs> Espresso? <laughs> a pot of tea and a scone will be the height of it. What do you think, Jess? Well, you know we love having you here. Is it not all a bit too soon? Maybe you should talk the whole thing through with Luke Masterson. Well, I think I'm ready for a break from therapy. I told Luke. You didn't say. <laughs> anyway, isn't it vital to get your toe on the old property ladder these days? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean, though. A home of my own? Of course. But you've been through so much, I wouldn't do anything rash. Hello again. I've decided to go for it. Meadowlands. Oh, sorry we closed that sale this morning. What? Afraid so? Was it that man yesterday? Well, look, we've got something similar near completion a bit further out. It'll be dear, of course, when it's ready for sale, but um, have you a brochure there, hon? Get us two coffees, please, Pat. Yes. I'm sorry, I'm such a baby. No, 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 no. You're fine. You're fine. It's just the more I thought about it last night, the more excited I got. Yeah, I can imagine. <clears throat> and it's definitely a soul. I mean, people ever change their mind or. Rarely, no. They're all trying to chase their dream, you know? Get away from all that. The check for the down payment hasn't arrived in yet, so technically, maybe 
Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a new house, so obviously we can't get into a bidding war. I mean, the price is the price, but let's just say to close the sale, you're prepared to offer another 5K. God, yeah. But I thought you said the price was the price. Of course. No, this, this, would, be, um, this would be a local arrangement, you know. I mean, I'm only saying this because I can tell how much the house means to you, you know. You'd be up to yourself. There's a word for it, Molly, you know that. It's gazumping. I mean, it goes on all the time, obviously. You think I shouldn't? My poor love, you've been through so much. I just don't want you to do anything you'll regret in the long run. Here, sleep on it. I'm carrying the lot, am I? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Mind. I bumped into this gorgeous man the other night. Of course not. Hi. Hey, how you doing? I hadn't seen him in ages. He's been away for how long? Oh, more or less since college, I think. Hey, hi. 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 Thanks for having us. Brilliant. Yeah, into the left. Guess who? Um, oh, you wouldn't remember me. Oh, she will. <laughs> Molly had the most enormous crush on you in school. Sarah! It's fantastic. It's absolutely gorgeous. Thank so you. how far away from Dublin are we now? <laughs> Not far at all. <laughs>
sorry. I was in a world of my own. Hope it's not as painful as mine. And there's some stuff up there. Oh, cheers. Um, they're not used to you. Here, um, try this. Glad I was first up. So am I. Glad I had one left for you. Great house. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> he was oh, cold. Cold. We were trying to get him out, but I mean. But listen, you've got to get a car now. Mal, yes. tell her get a car. Get a car, will you? <laughs> listen. Thanks, Molly. Okay. <laughs> Look after yourself, okay? Mm -hmm. you get a I'll see you, darling. See you. See Thanks you soon. Coming. Thanks Bye. for coming. Bye. You need any help decorating? No charge. Housewarming present. Okay, thanks. It's just my. Bye. 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 We'll see you soon. Yeah, hey, thanks. See you soon. Thanks, thanks for coming. Thanks, nice thanks so much. Thanks so much. Come here, what's going on in those new houses? How do you mean? Well, you're the first person from up there to put a bit of business my way, that's all. Oh, well, there's never anyone around. Yeah. They go to work before dawn and don't get home till after dark. Mad, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you are talking to any of them, let them know that I can supply them with everything they need on the DIY front. Huh? Mm -hmm. oh. There you go. That what you had in mind. Perfect. Hi, Francie. Uh, I'm Joe, by the way. You're welcome to the area. Thanks, Molly. Uh, Come on, Francie. I wasn't sure if you got my message. I was in the area. What? Uh, no, <laughs> but your message sounded a bit panicky. Did it? Well, I'm a bit embarrassed now. It's no big deal. What's up? Well, um, you see, I do research work for this arts program. I um, read books and prepare briefs for the presenter. All right, so he can sound like he's read everything. Yeah. Anyway, all of a sudden, I have to have the stuff by tomorrow, and I was in the middle of all this. You want me to finish it? No problem. Sorry if I made it sound like a crisis. No, no, it's fine. I'll start straight away. Hello? Hi. Guess what time it is? Oh, my God. Can you spare a minute? Of course. Cool. <gasps> Thank you. Yeah, it's not bad. You happy? Yeah. Good. <laughs> I'll come back tomorrow and make a stat now. Really? Do you mind? Ah, no, of course not. That'd be so fantastic. But listen, that's it with the favours now. From now on, you have to let me pay you. We'll talk about it tomorrow. I better be off. 
Right. Sweet dreams. Looking nice. Goodbye. Yeah, I think so. Oh, you should see the kip of a flat I'm renting in Dublin. Jesus. What brought you back to Ireland? Well, I don't know how this sounds, but uh, I miss the Irish girls. <laughs> no, seriously. Because I, uh, I sort of did the rounds while I was away. Oh, how do you mean? Oh, let's see. It was a Japanese girl, Kiki. Uh, two Spanish girls. Not at the same time, obviously. Oh, obviously. Manuela and. Uh, Christ, what was her name? Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> moving right along. Okay, okay. Uh, a very serious Swiss girl, Natalie. Yeah. A few Scandinavians. <laughs> okay, okay, you know. So now you're looking for a sweet flame haired Colleen. Yeah, yeah, something like that. And uh, does Sarah fit the bill? Sarah? No, no, not at all. Did you think? No, 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 no. We're just pals. I don't think I'm Sarah's type at all. Uh, Molly, how are you? Hiya. Oh, well, this is you. Is Francie looking after you? He is, yeah. Great. How's the decorating going? Oh, couldn't be better. Nothing taken. Money? Jewelry? No. Frickin' vandals. Maybe you disturbed them and they legged it out the back. Did you ever think of getting an alarm? Didn't think I'd need one out here. Fair enough, I suppose. Normally. Anyone you know? Yeah, it's a friend of mine. Hey. Are you okay? Jesus. Right. I'll be in touch if we find out anything, but, well, you know yourself. Okay, thanks anyway. Good luck. We'll have to fix that for a start. Hey, it's okay. We're gonna clear it all up. Come here. My poor baby. Is a turn on, huh? <laughs> you okay now? 
I'm just glad you're here, Ma. Hey. When I saw the door hanging open, it reminded me. What? My dad. A year ago, I was still living at home, just him and me, you know? Yeah. One night I woke up because I heard shouting. Looked out the window. There were these guys totally out of it pissing in the front garden. I knew they'd woken Dad up too. Go, go back to bed. I just knew there was going to be trouble. Go back to bed. Hey, hey, you two. What do you think you're doing here? This is not a public toilet. He tried to keep them out, but he had no hope. When I tried to stop them, one of them came at me screaming into my face. You want someone out there? Jesus. Time I got to dad. <laughs> His heart Sorry I woke you, but I figured it was safer to fix this. Thanks. That's okay. Well? Yeah? Can we stay the night? Do I look like I'm going anywhere? <laughs> well, now look who's back to see us again. How's it going? It's not great. I was very good yesterday. Oh, no. Oh, well, I was here. I'm sorry to hear it. The feckin' horse. Did the alarm not scare them off? I don't have one. Well, I thought those houses had been fitted. Oh, it was extra. I didn't go for it. Right. Well, now, listen. My brother Mossy does a great job on the alarm front. He'd sort you out no bother. No, thanks, Joe. Okay. Right. Thank you. Thanks, Francie. Turn away for a second. We have a little surprise for you. Okay. 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 You, you can, can turn, turn around, around now. now. <laughs> Ta-da! We thought you might need a little help getting round out here in the sticks. Oh, guys, thank you so much. You remember how? Oh, I'll give it a go. Um, okay. <laughs> Molly, why didn't you tell us? You'd have come down straight away. Ah, oh, you poor thing, and you're hardly in the door. It wasn't too bad. They didn't even take anything. Yeah, but it's what it does to your head. Mm. You didn't sleep last night, did you? Not much. It was the place in an awful state. Well, yeah, but Mal helps clean up. Who's Mal? He's a guy I knew in school. He's been helping me with the painting. Oh, that's why it's such a good job. Frank, <laughs> shut up. Get that restaurant guide, would you? It's in the car. He's such an idiot. So go on. This uh, man was here. He just happened to be coming to do more painting. Only asking. Sure, aren't you lucky he was around? I hope he stayed the night to protect you. Is he nice? <laughs> yeah, kind of gorgeous. <laughs> Well, listen, Frank discovered there's a very highly rated restaurant just a few miles from here. We were going to treat you this evening anyway. Oh, no, I'm not. So why don't you invite this... Uh, Mal. Mal. Invite him too. We can book for four as easy as three. I could want you. I'm dying to meet him. 
Time to meet who? <laughs> what? Well, so far, is that is a good okay. declaration. He's texted back. And? Working late. Ah, oh, pity. Go ahead, meet you there. Excellent. <laughs> well, I hope it lives up to the review. Well, it looks fussy enough in the brochure. Ooh, it does get very cold up here. Well, it's up in the mountains, and it is December. I know that, but the wind is never as cold at this in Dublin, is it? Her crusted rack of lime was a parsnip mash. Mm. Who would have thought it, eh? I would have said a Chinese takeaway would be the only cuisine you'd find round here. Mm. <laughs> well, if this is as good as it sounds, we'll be bonking in with you every weekend. You'll never get rid of us. Let's order. Mal won't mind. What was that him? Very easy on the eye. You behave yourself. <laughs> Hey. This is Mal, uh, Mal Jessica. Oh, Jess, please. Nice to meet you. And Frank. How you doing, Frank? Getting ready for the once-over. Frank! <laughs> <laughs> I've just been telling them how you're helping me with the decorating. That's the official version anyway. Which is fine by me, thanks for the invitation. You know, this reminds me of a little country place I worked in while I was in Italy. Really? You can cook? Wouldn't poison you. Can I? Sounds like you're very handy to have around the house. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming tonight. I enjoyed it. They seem really nice. They've been so kind to me. So, what are they, like, uh, godparents? No, that's a strange thing. They were just old friends of Dad's. He and Jess lectured in the same department. I hardly knew them until after Dad, you know. They helped out so much with all the funeral stuff. I don't know what I would have done. Then they invited me to stay with them. I suppose they realized. I mean, they did it for Dad's sake, but it was like, they really love me, you know? And they've no kids? No. They seem to like it that way. You think? Yeah, why? Uh, I got the feeling they were happy to have you around. You mean like the child they never had? Yeah, that sort of thing. I bet they didn't want you to leave. You're right. But you know, it was time. Jesus! <laughs> Molly, hold on! Molly! My bike! They've taken my bike! Apart from the bicycle, there was nothing else taken. Nothing else touched. So was there someone else this time? It's strange, huh? Right, well, sure. I'll ask around. Maybe one of the neighbors saw something. You really should think about an alarm, you know? Should be on your own right now, you know. No, you can't believe what it means to me to have you here. I want to be here with you. Will you stay, please? For as long as you want.
Hello, Sarah. It's Molly. Uh, just ringing for a chat. Nothing special. Give us a ring if you can. Uh, I'm at home all day. I knew you'd say that. I told me to say that. I'm not Joe. Joe sent me. Sorry? I'm his brother, Mossy. Oh, you're twins. For our sins, yeah. No, you see that? That's the giveaway. Joe would never do anything like that. Far too straight laced, you know what I mean? Anyway, he tells me you've had a spot of bother. You want an alarm put in? <laughs> Two burglaries. How do they break in? Front door. Oh, cheeky feckers. You haven't had a wink of sleep, have you? Uh, mind if I survey the scene? Yeah, I was a bit put out about them standing down a Dublin crowd to put the alarm systems in. You know, not good for the local economy, you know what I mean? Anyway, I'll do you a good job, no problem there. Any special requirements? I don't know, really. Okay, you got a uh, bay windows, French windows, guard door, okay. Obviously, we cover all the access points. We give you a nighttime setting so you can still move about upstairs, do your business. What about panic buttons? Great for the peace of mind. Huh? Bedroom. Right about you. Yep. Okay, so panic button. That suit you? Whatever you think. Yeah. Fair enough now. I got squeezy in this afternoon, but if you want to think about it, it'll take three weeks. Oh, this afternoon, please? No, you'd say that. Do you want to talk cash or will I wait for himself? There's no himself, so you can talk to me. Fair enough. Let's see now. Ten access points. Panic button, master control box. Say a thousand. Sure. Honest to God, you young ones, throwing your money away. All right, 800, my final offer. Huh? What? Okay, so for you, 750. All right? All right? Yeah, great. Right. So I'll see you this afternoon. And don't worry, you'll sleep tonight. You sure you get back to you fast? If not, we'll think of something else. Okay. Now, when you're leaving the house, just key in the code. When you go into bed, key in 7. If the alarm does go off, the video screen here will show you the source of the intrusion. <laughs> okay, I've got it. My birthday and his. No, no. Don't tell me. No one else should know. I just key it in and verify. So, here is the scenario. It is daytime, the alarm isn't even set. Suddenly you hear a sound, breaking glass, the door being forced open, or you haven't even locked the door. Now you hear someone moving around inside the house. Panic button. There you go. Okay, disarm the system. That's it. Simple as that. One last thing. Come on up. Very important. You can't use the panic button again until you reset it. The key. And ready to go. I saw the box outside. That was quick. Come here. You'll have to help me with the code. I'll do the first two numbers, but I can't remember the last two. Well, it's going to go off. Two special little numbers. What were they? It was one, two. <laughs> what are you doing? Turn it off, will you? One, two, and... I don't know. 
all these special numbers. How am I supposed to? I got it. I got it. I got it. Uh, uh. Dom. System is disarmed. So, your birthday is the 12th, huh? Mm hmm. That's very romantic. Do you think? Yeah, I do. Hey, we better let people know it's a false alarm, yeah? Interested. What are they like around here? So, you feeling safe tonight? Mm -hmm. Feeling safe now? Yeah. You sure? Definitely. Completely safe? Totally. Let me see about that. Scared? No. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. Hello, Joe. It is Joe, isn't it? Oh, you met Mossy then, huh? <laughs> Did you do a good job? Perfect. And he gave you a good price? Absolutely. Excellent. And how are things on the sleep front? Oh, look at me, fresh as a daisy. Well, I'm delighted for you. And what can I get you now? Um, just some teak oil. Oh, yeah. Francie! I'll get it. Uh, no, I, I knew Mossy wouldn't let you down. Bit of a show-off, you know. Uh, but the work is sound. This gas actually... We don't hang around much, so people are always saying, how come they never see the two of us at the same time? I think they wonder if it's only one of us pretending to be two people. <laughs> ah, yeah. This is the guy who sold me the house. Huh? Well, yeah, well, to tell you the truth, now, he wouldn't be very popular around here, him or his company. Well, not, not that I think he deserved the beating or anything, but well, you know yourself, estate agents, they're kind of hard to feel sorry for, aren't they? Bastards. Anyway, there you are. <laughs> no, 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 go on, it's on the house. That'll be my good deed for the day. Right. Thanks. Cheers. Property now. Good morning. Hello. Um, I'm one of your clients. I recently bought in Meadowlands. I've just been reading about what happened to Ian Lowry. I'm very shocked. Well, is there anywhere I could call him? Maybe pass on my good wishes to even visit him in hospital? Well, I'm afraid he's gone abroad for an extended break. As you can imagine, it was very traumatic. But I'll certainly pass on your good wishes. OK, if you would, thanks. Bye. Taking the air. Yep, just a little break from work. So how about a longer break? A nice lunch? Oh, no, I can't, folks. Of course you can. I'll treat. No, really, I've got a deadline and I'm right up against it. Sorry you came all the way. Listen, come in for coffee anyway. Uh, no, no, we don't want to hold you up. You're fine. I'll throw you out if you're staying too long. Fair enough. I see you gave in. Thought I better. Oh, good. And how is it? Do you feel any safer? Oh, I suppose. That's very neat, isn't it? It's hard to even notice it. And how long now do you have to turn it off? 30 seconds. Jess, would you please get the door? Frank, door. Two, two, four. System is disarmed. 
Should I swear I'd be useless? I can never remember colds. Frank has all these tricks for remembering. I'll organise the coffee. One, two, two, four. Frank, one, two, two, four. How would you remember that? One, two, two, four. Oh, well, that's easy. Simple sequence. Double one, two, double two, four. Or if you prefer, double twelve, twenty-four. What kind of brain have you? I wouldn't say Molly was thinking of number sequences when she chose those numbers. Were you, pet? So what was she thinking of? Well, let's see. One, two, two, four. Or as you said, 12 and 24. So 12 could be the 12th of something. Well. Oh, I haven't a clue. Ah, Frank, when is Molly's birthday? The 12th of... Ah, right. So the 24 must be... Doesn't ring any bells. I'd say 24 could be another significant birthday. Yes, but how would we know that? Okay, coffee's nearly ready. A new friend of yours, Mal. Yeah. When is his birthday, I wonder? It's not the 24th, is it? Ah, uh, very good, <laughs> yes. <laughs> very good. <laughs> Spooky. Mal, see that car over there, the one like a jeep? That's been parked there all day. Yeah? I called over, but nobody answered. Maybe they just left their car behind. No, there's a light on there now, but no one has come back to the house. Molly, have you been watching the whole time? The estate agent who sold me the house, Ian, he's been beaten up. Sorry? It was in the paper, he was assaulted. And the day I viewed the house, his next client drove something just like that. Molly, half the country is riding around in 4 by 4s I'm not following the logic here. I don't know either. It's just... Is there some connection with the break-ins? What? How? Well, I don't know, but I've been here over a month now and I haven't met a single other person who lives around. I don't know who my neighbours are. That's the way these places are. People are busy. Well, let's just call now. Let's just go and knock on the door. Over there? Yeah, say hello. Molly, no, 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 bad idea. Okay, let's call next row. That's a normal thing to do, isn't it? What's the point? Meet our neighbours. Hello, how are you? Well, you go if you want, but I mean, I'm... Yeah. <clears throat> yes? Sorry to disturb you. I'm from next door. Oh, right. I know this is out of the blue, but I just thought, as we're neighbours, we should introduce ourselves. I'm Molly, by the way. Oh, hello. No one ever seems to be around during the day, so anyway, just on a whim, really, I, uh, I, I called around now. Right. Well, uh, thanks. Good, it's OK, Jen. Listen, sorry, we uh, have a few friends down from Dublin, and we're just about to sit down to eat. Not oh, bad time. I'm really sorry. No, no, it's OK. We'll pack up soon. I'll uh, we'll, uh, give you a call, OK? stupid, wasn't it? Impulsive. Coffee? Hmm. What's the matter with me today? Earlier on, Frank and Jess called out of the blue to bring me to lunch and I was really annoyed. I nearly said, why didn't you phone first? Oh, that's all right. Then Jess was looking over my shoulder when I was trying to turn off the alarm and I felt tense, you know? Like I didn't want her to see the code, like it matters for God's sake. And she and Frank started trying to work out why I chose that particular code, going on and on, saying it over and over, one, two, two, four, twelve, twenty-four, twelve, twenty-four, till I just wanted to scream at them, shut up, shut up! Mad. Do you need to take anything? No, like what? I don't know. You okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Stay right here. I'll go down. No, please! Mal? It's okay. 
What do you mean? I mean, it's, it's okay. It does nothing. Are you sure? I'm checking everywhere. Hold on. Yeah, 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 no, it's all secure. Oh. It must be grand news, because nobody's trying to break in. Well, <laughs> well, maybe I should have a look. Molly, it's fine. We we'll get him to check the alarm tomorrow. Are you sure? Yeah. But down yourself, it makes you feel any better, I mean. No. No, I believe you. Sorry I'm so jittery. You're jittery? I was the one that had to go down there. Jesus, it's nearly four o'clock. Did you set it again? Uh, let me see. I think so. I, I can't remember really. Well, please. I did, I did, I swear. Relax. You okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. It's just... I know, but remember, it was a false alarm, yeah? Yeah? Mm. All How are you? Fine. Thanks for getting Mossy. Yeah, he was all apologies. I think he was a bit disappointed you weren't up to see him. Did you check it? Yeah, been in and out all day. Seems fine. Meet any more of your lovely neighbours? Aha, I've come up with a nice way to meet them. Dear neighbours, you're invited to Christmas drinks and nibbles Friday the 18th of December from 6pm. Casual. Looking forward to meeting you and toasting the holiday. Molly and Mel. Toasting the holiday. That's a bit American, isn't it? Yeah, I know. Anyway, is that okay? Yeah, if you like. Molly, you're not thinking of delivering them tonight, are you? Yeah, why? Well, if you're wandering around in the dark putting envelopes in the doors, they, they might think it's a bit bonkers, you know? <laughs> Wouldn't tomorrow do? Yeah, fair point. <laughs> All right. Mal? Hi. I couldn't sleep. Can I get you anything? No. Night, sir. Night. Hey, Molly. Yeah? Have you kind of woken up now? Yeah, I suppose so. Maybe I'll come back to bed then. Okay. If you like. All right. I'll see you in a sec. I've been thinking about Jess and Frank in the party. Have you invited them? Well, that's the thing. I feel a bit guilty because I sort of don't want to. That's fine. Don't. You think? Of course. They don't have to be around every time something is happening in your life. Yeah, I know. So? It's fine. 
I wouldn't worry about it. I did call Sarah, though, to invite her. Oh, yeah? Is she coming? I left a message, no answer yet. I'm a bit bothered. She hasn't phoned in ages. Not since we got together. Oh, she's probably jealous. You think? It could be. But you told me there was nothing between you and Sarah. Well, there wasn't. Doesn't mean she's not jealous. Oh, come on, Molly, sit down. Try and relax a little bit. Just. Molly. Come on, Molly. Don't do anything silly, all right? I'm just looking out my front door. That's okay, isn't it? about it, all right? Do we know or care about these people? That's right. There's only one person I want to be with tonight. And can I be honest with you? I'm glad I don't have to waste my breath making small talk with strangers. Come here. I love you, Molly. Only you. Wow. It makes it for everything. Oh, for goodness sake, Molly, you shouldn't have. You shouldn't have. It's nothing. It's a token. And give this to Massey. Uh, no, I might. I hope you didn't get him a better prezzy than me, huh? And thank him for coming back so quickly to fix the system. Tell him it's been fine since. Oh, he didn't get it right the first time. Well, I give him a right slagging over that. <laughs> it's a happy Christmas, Beth. And uh, now, I got something for you. so early. Don't move. <laughs> oh, come on, what? Shh. Listen. <laughs> you like? It's great. What is it? It's a Christmas present. <laughs> oh, my God, no! <laughs> you like it? Yeah! It's cool, isn't it? Check this out. The kitchen? <laughs> the master bedroom? <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> Cool, cool, Charlie. Stay there. Don't move. Don't move. The fuck are you? Get out. Get the fuck out of here. Get your hands on. Let go of me. I grabbed him. I, I didn't. <laughs> Christmas Day, oh Jesus, Christmas Day. <laughs> I just can't take it anymore. I can't, I can't stand it anymore. Sweetheart. I don't know what's going on. Are uh, you is? I, I mean, it, it's a no other cop around here. Well, Christmas Day. Because you're know? useless. And I'm kind of looking after the case. Three burglaries in a month, my friend, and you've gone nowhere. I mean, look at us for Christ's sake. I'm it's sorry, Christmas sir, Day. This is a very unusual. Oh, well, well, there's a word for it, huh? Unusual. People playing mind games, fucking with their heads. That's that's definitely unusual. At least now we know it was a lone man. Oh, that's a breakthrough. I mean, who did you think it was? A team of nuns? 
Is there any more you can tell me? What else do you want me to tell you? It was dark. I, I didn't... I understand. I... All you're sure of is it was a man. Seems like he was about your height and size. You didn't see his face. I've told you. I go for him, he whacks me with that, and then he dies through the window. Now do your job. Look, I'll be honest with you. It's obvious this isn't just a series of ordinary burglaries. Yours is the only house that's been broken into. It seems to me there has to be some personal thing going on, and I mean, well, you're the only ones who can give me a steer on that. Right, that'll have to do. I begin to wonder, is there any point? Yeah. Do you need to take anything to help you sleep? You think I should? You look so tired, but I know you lie awake for hours tonight. I'll be okay. Don't let me go mad, please. Everything okay? Yeah. Sorry I woke you. Wanna make love? No, thanks. I'll sleep now. You sure? Yeah. Did you get any sleep? Some. <sighs> Molly, do you think maybe you should think about selling up? Yeah, maybe. It's a crap time of year to flog a house, though, isn't it? You mean nothing will happen to the new year? That's right. Do you really think I'm mad to be suspicious of the people across the road? I'm beginning to think anything is possible. Mal? You were away a long time. I mean, did anything ever happen to you that might be the reason why... You mean there's some sinister foreigner tracked me down here looking for revenge? Don't joke, please. Sorry. I don't know anything about your past, do I? Look. Believe it or not, there's nothing. I mean, you don't want me to have a dark past, do you? Right. I'll hunt around the village. See if I can find something to repair the window. Fat chance, I suppose, but it's something to do. Will you be all right in your own for a while? Right. Why don't you go for a walk? Get some air or something. I will. Wait a minute. 
Husband, he told me it was emergency. My husband. It will be horrible Christmas to you. <laughs> the alarm? How did you turn it off? He left me the piece of paper. The pin to your alarm is here. The, the, the numbers to your alarm just. Relax, please. Everything be all right. I just fixed the window. Relax. Just everything be all right. Let me explain. Get out of my house. Don't, don't, don't be angry. Get out of my house. I Get fixed the window. Get out of my house. Get out, Get out of my house! Please don't! Get out of my house! Get out of my house! Get out of my house! Change the code. You what? You gave a stranger the code! I'm sorry, could you knock it off? How could you do that to me? Please turn it off. I, I think you move away. Molly. Move away. Okay, okay, I'm moving away. Please forgive me, Molly. I... I'm going out of my mind, Mom. No, 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 you're not. No, you're not going out of your mind. Everything is all right, okay? I, I, it's completely my fault. I wasn't thinking. I, I, I should have said something. I just... <laughs> listen, listen. There's, there's another reason why I was out for so long. I got you something, something that might help. It's out in the van, do you want to have a look? Yeah. All right, come on, we have a look. Doug? A watchdog. I bumped into Marcy and he told me about him. He said his owner died recently and the poor little fellow might have to be put down. Oh, what's his name? Last you said his name was Scruffy. <laughs> Scruffy. He's lovely, isn't he? Yeah. Come on, we go inside. Come on. He's a good boy. See, alarms are machines. They're consistent, you know? Mm -hmm. Predictable. And thieves know you can never be sure with a dog. Isn't that right? Yes. All right. I'm going to break it. Maybe he's going mad too, is he? So you're gonna solve all our problems? Keep our enemy away? Let me sleep again?
Yes, who's a good boy, huh? That sounds good to me. I definitely think twice before I take him on. So, will we keep him? Remember, a dog isn't just for Christmas. Look at that face. How can we turn him down? <laughs> Come on. Have you a license for that fella? Oh, hello. Bit of extra protection, what do you think? Can't do any harm. How's that face fit? It's the uniform. Affects people that way too sometimes. Listen, Mal was a bit wound up the other night. Masher, letting off steam. You know, you were asking if someone is. if this is personal. Yeah. Well, I was um, thinking about that estate agent who was assaulted recently. Yeah. He sold me the house. All right. This seems very stupid, but um, the day I viewed the house, this guy came after me. I didn't really see him, but he drove one of those Jeeps. Anyway, when I decided to buy the house, the estate agent had already accepted an offer from this guy, but he said that if I offered more, then I could have it. You could zump him. So you think he might be getting revenge because he was done out of a house? It does sound stupid, does it? That'd be property madness, all right. I'll bear it in mind. Come on. We didn't like to disturb you. Is it safe to come near you? you might be licked oh, to death. It's indeed gorgeous. Oh, he's a grand old bowler. Are you training him? Ah, oh, will you give her a break training him? <laughs> so long as he barks at those God Almighty intruders, that's all she needs. Oh, he has a, a bark, all right. <laughs> he's made Christmas for me, to be honest. <laughs> of course he has. Come on, come on. Hey, what's he called? Scruffy. Uh, come on, Scruffy. Come on, whoop the ball. Here, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, you saw the for sale sign. You're doing the right thing. Come on. I hate giving up on it, to be honest, but the break-ins are only part of it. I thought I'd find peace out here, Jess, but there's something wrong about the whole place. Something detached, adrift. I mean, the way people live. The point is, they're not really living here. They just sleep over, and they'd actually prefer to be somewhere else. Ready? It's like this whole place just dropped out of the sky and landed in the wrong spot. I'm right on the edge, to be honest. Oh, come here, love. Mal must be wondering what sort of a lunatic he's landed with. <laughs> Scruffy was his idea. Isn't he gorgeous? The dog or Frank? <laughs> and would you consider going back to Luke Masterson for a few sessions? I've been thinking about it. Come back to us, Molly. You know we'd love to have you. Mm. After all this crapping on about quality before everything and too many cowboy operations out there and how she's wise to them because she knows what's what, after all this, she decides to go for the beach veneer tongue and groove job. And, and what's that? I'll tell you, Frank. It's the second cheapest. That's what it is. Which is also typical, right? I mean, people like her never get the cheapest because they're afraid to look cheap. They get the second cheapest, which is fine. I mean, no problem for me if she hadn't have stood me there for half an hour bullshitting about the importance of quality work. So, I thought to myself, right, I'm gonna make you change your mind, Mrs. Kleine Hill. I'm gonna make you feel so bad about picking the second cheapest. And you just couldn't, you know, take the order. <laughs> so I said, well, yeah, yeah, very good, yeah. Beach veneer. Very popular choice, actually. A lot of people going for that one recently. But she's not liking that. Makes my job easy, to be honest, it says. Same old, same old every day, you know? Sure, I was in Tala for two weeks putting that exact floor on a load of houses there. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Tala, oh, that would drive her mad. Oh, isn't it terrible? Yeah, I can see it in her eyes at this stage. It was too easy, actually. I flogged her the solid oak parquet. Can you believe it? I... I don't know what it means, but it sounds impressive. More than four times the price, Frank. That's what it means. And a 12-week waiting list. More money than sense. Wouldn't you love to say something to her? Ah, oh, yeah. As soon as she pays up, she'll hear exactly what I think of her. You will not. For sure. 
be a buzz. I can see why you'd like to, Mal, but... She's a bitch. That's what she deserves, yeah? Yeah? Ah, uh, gotcha. <laughs> oh, come on, do you really think I'd do that, huh? Fecker. <laughs> 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 I believed you. <laughs> well, you had me. I was thinking, uh-oh, what have we here? <laughs> gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> oh, listen, listen. It's nearly time. <laughs> Ten, Ten, nine, nine eight, eight, seven. Nice. Folks, folks, a memorable night. Your generous and gracious hosts, I thank you. And Shut I up, friend. We come to bed. Come on. See you in the morning. Not too early. One o'clock brunch. I'm getting the fuck out of here as soon as I can. Will you stick with me? Absolutely. New year, new start. Doesn't matter if it's a hole in the ground, as long as it's normal. Scruffy? Scruffy? You're awake? Wow, that was a marathon. Over 30 hours. How do you feel? I don't know. You look good. Really, you do. You needed to sleep so much. Mal, what happened? We'll talk about it later. I don't know what's real and what isn't anymore. Just tell me, please. Look, it wasn't anything sinister. It was just an unfortunate accident. You need to rest now anyway. It's just been one awful thing after another. What have we done? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Jess told the doctor about these. He said maybe he came off them too quickly, so he gave me a prescription. to do it? No. Ah, Molly, my love. Happy New Year. Have you put these up for me? Yeah, of course I will. You have a dog? We had a dog. 
We don't know whether he ran off or he was taken. Well, Jed tonight, you've had one awful dose, but no doubt about that. Oh, by the way, um, Mossy says thanks for the Christmas present. <laughs> but no way, he said, would he ever go back to fix your alarm system. <laughs> what? No way, he said. Oh, Bill put out the same Mossy me slagging him over it, you know. <laughs> oh, no, when I install the system, it's done right, to see. Play something like a boiled sweet. <laughs> so is he having me on or what? Eh? No. It's just a mix-up. Will Joe stick them up? Yeah. It might not do any good, you know that? I know. Okay. There you go. Did you set the alarm? Yeah. For what it's worth. I know, but still. Actually, no. The worst thing is waiting for it to go off. Oh, Molly. Calm down. The system is disarmed. Now, at least I won't be lying there waiting for that to start screaming. Why bother locking anything? Stop it, Molly. Stop what I said. Let's go to bed, do you hear me? We're not giving in to this. I won't let you give in to it. Okay. If you like, whatever. Mossy never came back to fix the alarm. What? Isn't that right? Why did you say he did? Where did you get the idea he didn't? I don't know what to think. I'm gone mad already anyway. <laughs> Fucking mad! <laughs> Molly? Molly. Someone here to see the house. I won't bring him up here so he can stage you here, okay? Okay. answer the door sorry the day I called why didn't you answer the door I don't know what you're talking about I was just being a neighbor just saying hello look we were at home when you called we just weren't expecting visitors we weren't in the mood for visitors all right do you understand is that a problem for you no no it's not it's just when he didn't even reply to our invitation <laughs> Even if it was only to refuse. We're just not interested in weird stuff. What's weird about inviting people for Christmas drinks? Christmas drinks? Yes. I don't know what planet you're on. Oh. Come on, Peter. Hold on. Did you try to buy my house? Or was it you or your friend came to view the house the same day I did? What? Maybe not. You don't seem... Anyway, it doesn't matter now, because I'm going. I'm going. We're going away. Dear neighbor, do you wish to open your hearts to God and join our group? At this special time of year, help wash away the sins of the world. Spiritual renewal can begin any time. The Church of the Brothers of Christ. Contact us for information and induction on our welfare of Christ, Molly and Lab. I didn't send this. Right, so. Thanks very much, yeah. Uh, nice to meet you, pal. Thanks for coming over. We'll be in touch, yeah. Uh, have you got a bag? Good man. It's uh Molly. Molly. Don't let him in, please. Please don't let him in. <laughs> Joe! 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 
What's wrong? Will you do me a favor, Joe? Well, sure, if I can. I need a lift oh, straight oh, away. Well, sure, why? What's after happening? Okay, so Molly, you, know, you go around to the front of the shop. But you're not Joe. Well, of course I am, love. No, no, you're not. Molly, Molly, hold on. <laughs> Okay, Mark. Well, are you all right? But his ears pierced too. Huh? Not at all. Oh, this? Well, no, I, I didn't get a chance to tell you. Huh? Get away from me. You're both in on it. You know what? Well, calm Go. down, though. Listen to him. I saw the bike, Joe, or Mossy, or whichever one you are. What are you talking about? <laughs> you say something. No. Molly, come back. Stop. Molly. Stop. 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 Molly, listen to him. Come here. Dr. Masterson is with his last client for the day. Now, if you want to make an appointment, it'll be at least three days. No, it's an emergency, please. I'm sorry? Call him. He knows me. Don't you remember me? I remember your face. You should know I can't interrupt a consultation under any circumstances. Now, if you want me to make an appointment, I... Uh, come back here. Hello? Oh, stop. Excuse me for a moment. I'm really sorry, Mr. Masterson. It's okay, it's okay, Barbara, it's okay. What are you doing, Mal? Please help me. He's doing something to me. He's trying to make me insane. Who is? Mal, there's been burglaries, and now I'm sure he's behind it all. And Joe and Mossy are helping him. And I saw the bike, and he's been giving me pills. And look, look. All the neighbors thought I sent these, but it wasn't what I wrote. I wrote invitations to a party. It was Mal said, wait till the morning before you post them. So he must have replaced them during uh, the night. Molly, 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 Molly. I said that Mossy gave the big steel arm, but Joe made him insane. Let us look to Stop. Stop. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> now, I'm with someone at the moment, and you know how important it is not to interrupt a session. You know I never allow that, don't you? <laughs> I'm sorry, but she said three days. That's all right. Wait here until I'm finished. Okay? You're safe here, Molly. Will you do that? Would he be long? Not long. He doesn't know about you. He won't find me here. No. You're absolutely safe here, Molly. Molly, Molly, Molly. It's been a long while. 
I know, I'm sorry. No need for an apology. Uh, Molly, I can't do another session this evening. I don't think it'd be a good idea anyway. Tea? No. So, I contacted your friends. I hope you don't mind. Are you okay, love? What's going on? Stay with us tonight, and Luke will see you in the morning. Yes. When we're fresh, then we'll sort the whole thing out. Okay. Come on with us. We feel so responsible, don't we, Frank? Indeed. Do you need something to help you sleep? Luke said you might. No, I'm exhausted. Thanks, Jess. Molly, I have to explain something to you. The other night, New Year's Eve, the business with poor Scruffy disappearing. It wasn't a burglary pet. It was Frank's fault. He's mortified. He doesn't know what to say to you. He got up during the night to go to the toilet. Still drunk, of course. And nothing would do him but go downstairs for a drink of water. He's stumbling around in the dark and bangs off something. Scruffy starts barking. He panics completely and opens the door to let him out and, of course, sets the alarm off. Well, you know the rest. Frank is very upset. Please forgive him, pet. At least you know that Scruffy just went wandering. He might come back. Who's here? Hello, Molly. Poor baby. Joe promised if he could just meet her, he'd explain everything. And you'll take her to see Luke in the morning? Of course, of course. Molly. I just want it to be you and me, you know? No neighbors coming around for Christmas drinks. What can I say? I'm sorry, all right? I'm sorry. Awfully sorry, Molly. You broke into the house. Well, not me. But I didn't know about it. No, fair as I have to say that. But it was Mossy, you know. How many times? Jesus, Mal, just the once. See, Mossy was raging over the Dublin crowd getting them the contract for the alarm. You didn't stop him. He said he wouldn't do much, and he'd make it up to you on the deal. You know, I, I, I can get you the bike now if you want. What to say? I'm sorry, Molly. You know, I phoned that stupid fucking guard about the guy who called around this morning. You see, what happened? It was one of those things. I, I was showing him around, you know, giving him the spiel and. He said something to me about how he liked the Oak Shaker kitchen, but you see, I never mentioned an Oak Shaker kitchen. I mean, where did he get it from? He's the one who saw the house the same day I did. The guy I gazumped. Yeah, that's what the guard has said. He seemed to know everything. Why didn't you say anything to me? Huh? You didn't trust me. Anyway. He said he'd bring the guy in for questioning. 
maybe this guy is the one who's been doing all this, and if it is... Maybe... How do I know anymore, man, if it's him, or you, or Frank and Jess? Money! <laughs> maybe you're all in on it! Luke Masters and Motti and Joe! Motti and Joe? Yes! Molly! 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 Open up! Open the door! The system is disarmed. Molly? 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 Let me out! Please stop doing this to yourself. What do you think is going on here? Do you think I'm trying to hurt you? I don't know! That's what's driving me mad! You want to drive me mad! Let me in, Molly. Just, just let me talk to you. No, let me sleep. Sure, but I'm afraid you'll harm yourself if I leave you alone. Molly, I want to hold you. Please just let me in. Let's hold each other, please. Whatever's been happening is awful, but we'll get through it, Molly. That's how you did it, yes, yes. I love you, Molly. <laughs> Sake, I can just go down and disarm it. I can press it again. You turn off the alarm, I'll keep turning it on. Not without the key, you can't. Molly. Give me the key. Please, this is just... Why would I want to hurt you? All these terrible things, there's nothing connected. It's just random, baby, it's all random. If you give me the key, you can lock yourself in and I'll leave you alone. We, 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 we'll get some sleep and we'll talk about it in the morning. Come on, baby, give me the key. Give me the key! Okay. Okay, just let me go. Let go! Okay, okay. Come on, Molly. Give me the key. Give me the key. Jesus, Molly, if you only knew how much I wanted you right now. This is my home. 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 This is my home.